a 28-year-old beautician who apparently dared to go against her family's wishes by divorcing the man they chose for her and instead marrying a Shia Muslim, Saeed Mukta Kazam, who spoke to Channel 4 News today from Pakistan. She was amazing. She had a very amazing smile. We didn't have a relationship like a husband and wife. We, we were more of friends, a lot more than friends. She would look into my eyes and she would know what I'm thinking. The couple married in secret in Bradford, and a number of people who know the family have claimed they disapproved. They moved to Dubai, but Samia always hoped for a reconciliation with her family. West Yorkshire police received complaints from her that during visits home she was harassed. The, one of the biggest fears was her life. I knew her life wasn't safe because previously, even when she was going to England and during the phone calls and everything, you know, nothing seems right. And I feared, my, the greatest fear of my, mine was that they're going to kill her. In July, Mr. Kazam's fears appear to have been realised. Samia went to Pakistan to visit family after being told a relative was extremely sick. She was found dead in mysterious circumstances. Mr. Kazam has claimed she was the victim of a so-called honour killing. What the postmortem said, it was strangulation and suffocation. So now we know it was a murder. Now it's up to the police to find out how it was done. Samia's Facebook post before her death also apparently hinted at her fears. Mr Kazam immediately flew to Pakistan, where he disputed her family's claims that his wife died of natural causes. Samia's first husband and father were then arrested. And now police sources have confirmed to this programme that her first husband has confessed to the murder, saying he strangled her with a scarf. But verbal confessions in Pakistan are known to be sometimes obtained under duress and can't be used against a defendant in court. What I want to see now, I want the justice to be served. I can't bring Samia back, but I can give the world a message that what has been done, it's not right, it's wrong. The world has to know that taking a human life is not a joke. Everybody has their own will. Everybody is free, not a slave anymore. We don't live in in 16th century or 14th century anymore.